I was ready. Kind of. No, oh, yeah. I lost it completely on the scoreboard. I don't have anything on the monitor or nothing. Yeah. Okay, start up again. We're good. Good evening, and welcome to Fredonia High School. New York State Public High School Athletic Association supports and encourages spectators to enjoy the competition between our student athletes and cheer for their teams in a positive manner. The appropriate site personnel will address negative comments and behaviors. All spectators are required to wear a mask throughout the duration of the game. All spectators should stay off the court before, during, and after the game. Thank you for your support and enjoy tonight's game. Tonight's game is between the Dunkirk Marauders and your Fredonia Bills. Please stand for the national anthem, sung tonight by Ryan Davis, Aaron Schrantz, and Ava Hartman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Shannon Davis. Along my side here is Pat Mahaney, and we were here to cover the Dunkirk Fredonia rivalry basketball game, the first meeting of the season for these two teams, Pat. And neither team is exactly where they want to be in the league. Overall, Dunkirk seven and six, but they're zero and four in the league, and Fredonia six and six and zero and four in the league. So both teams looking to get back on track tonight. Well, these uh, big rivalry games can be something to turn your uh, season around. Uh, there's nothing like the Dunkirk Fredonia game, and uh, real glad to be here. And hopefully, we uh, catch a real nice, hard play, nice game tonight. Yeah, and here we are. You're here in the starting lineups for the two teams. Senior number 33, Marion Tell. Senior number 15. Jack Lansky. Senior number 22, Javier to Jesus. The coach of the Marauders is Sixto Rosario. And, and now, now you hear the Fredonia starting lineup. Junior number 12, Ethan Fry. Senior number 20, Nick Freely. Senior number 22, Nick Whitfield. Senior number 23, Dave Schrader. Junior number 32, Jay Hawk. Coach of the Hogos is Nick Petrano, assisted by Nate Schwartz, Eric Sawyer. Oh, looks like Dunkirk is putting on a nice little veteran team out there. Look, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah 12, five uh, seniors on the starting lineup. Yeah, you got Lewis, who's a junior, I believe. But yeah, I mean, other than that, it's... Uh, it's a pretty old team, and these guys have been playing basketball together for a long time. And really, I mean, if you look at their games, both teams, they have some very lopsided victories on their side, but in the league, they're both 0-4, and, and that shows how hard the league is. Salamanca and Olean, uh, both 4-0 in league powerhouses this year. Uh, you ever watch Olean play basketball in that press? 
that's not good for Fredonia with their guard play struggling a little bit. Um, and then you have Allegheny and Southwestern, both two and two. Fredonia lost uh, by two points to Southwestern. Only Allegheny a little bit more, but here we go. You got the two big leading scorers for both teams, Lewis and Whitfield. Lewis is averaging 24 points a game. Whitfield 17.9, taking the tip off here to get going. And And here we go. Whitfield up, he oh. gets it, but it's gonna go right out of bounds. Cleveland will be <laughs> Dunkirk's ball to start the game. He did time it perfectly, but yes, he knocked he it right out of bounds. All right, all right. Tell's gonna take the inbounds here, bring it up with Whitfield on him. Over to Lewis, fries on Lewis. Lewis drives, good help by Jay Hawk. Knocking Great the ball out of there. bounds. You can see you got nice little rotation there. Yep, you got Lewis and Carter dominating the scoring for um, Dunkirk. So you got to control those two if you're in Fredonia. Tell, ooh, big screen by the Jesus taking Fry right off his feet. Lansky goes up, rebound, can't get it. Woodfield tips it out to Schrader, and Woodfield's going to now bring the ball up. Fry open for three in the corner and he hits. Let's go. He, he likes that corner three. I know that for a fact. Yes, he does. Marcel Carter, second lead scorer. Dunkirk now bringing it up. Gets it over to Tell. Fry all over him, over to Lewis. Looks like early on the Hillbillies are going to be some pressure defense. Yeah. Carter. Oh, Whitfield with the big block. The Jesus comes up with it, gets it to Tell. Great pass. Tell, nice pass. Lansky couldn't finish. And here comes Woodfield with the rebound, averaging almost 10 rebounds a game himself. Schrader has the ball in the corner, gave up the three. Back out to Woodfield, another look for Fry, and he hits. Two shots, two threes, six yeah, points for Fry early. Gets the Hillbillies crowd going early. Carter has the ball, double teamed by Creeley. Lewis is going to shoot his three. And he hits it. It's raining threes. Raining threes here. There. Yeah. Fry has it, tips it out to Hawk. Hawk is up. Fry again for three. And he is on fire, <laughs> man. Wow. I like. He's catching in rhythm. He's going right up. He's confident, and he's got the crowd going. Absolutely. And it's going to be a timeout here. And also his teammates. I know Coach Petrando likes the hot start from his junior. Absolutely, Fry in the season is the second leading scorer of Fredonia. Um, just behind Nick Whitfield, 17.2 and 17.9 for Whitfield. So. Yeah, I, I really liked Fry's game last year as a sophomore, stepping up, playing while Nick Whitfield was out with an injury. So I really liked what he's uh, been doing to start early on here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Fry, you know, we saw him early. A lot of turnovers early as a sophomore, but as that a season, you know, when Whitfield went down, you know, and Petrano said we had to put more pressure on him mm -hmm. in the season and tri trial by fire. And by the end of the season, he was a key player. Uh, him and Putney were the two leading scorers oh, yeah. last year. So probably a good time out here for Rosario, first year coach for Dunkirk, mm -hmm. taking over for Coach Gullo. Okay. Um, Rosario, I believe, is also the Hurricanes. Uh, coach, the I don't know what you want to call that league with the semi-pro. Semi-pro, okay. I didn't want to call it pro. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's, Little trap here. Uh, yeah. Gets over. Uh, Carter, causes the turnover. Uh, Trader comes up with it, pushes ahead to Fry. Fry taking it to the hole here, kicks it. Oh, turns it over. No, Trader is able to come up with that loose ball. Nice crossover there by Schrader. Let's see what the foul is going to be. So a push off here. A little hand check. You know, it will be on Dunkirk. I think it's our first foul of the game. First on Javi and if, Jesus. Uh, um, I wouldn't be surprised. Some type of alley-oop here to Whitfield. Yeah, we really haven't seen Whit under. They look oh, for it. Oh, he looked know? for it. Long pass. Hawk has to go all the way back to the other side to get it. Plenty of time on the shot clock, though. So 30 seconds. Schrader setting up. Playing a 3 2 zone. Fry is open again. Oh! Four for four. Oh, 12 points for Fredonia. 
Oh, I love the hot start. Love the hot start. Let's see if Dunker can come back here. Just trying to trap him high at half court. Yeah, uh, Dunker's out of control. Dunkirk, yeah. Trader came up with that, gets it up to Fry. Fry looking to take it to the hole. Oh, another hand check. And he's going to be fouled on the floor. You know, last year this time, uh, the Dunkirk Fredonia game, there was no crowd, so it's great to have. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to have the friends and family, the the locals from Dunkirk and Fredonia here at FHS. Absolutely. The foul was on Marcel Cow uh, Carter, his first. Uh, Jay Sean Kowser checks in the game first time, taking Jack Lansky taking a rest. Yeah, he's a big body. I like to see what he can uh, if he can body up with down here. Maybe uh, try to. Try yeah, to chip away at the early he's lead. He's the third leading scorer of the team, too, coming off the bench. Kowser is with nine points a game. Schrader barely gets the ball, bounce to Whitfield. Whitfield over to Schrader. Schrader driving in. Thought he might get followed there, but he's going to turn over and it gets in the hands of Carter. Good defensive stand there by Dunker. Carter setting off the offense for Marauders. It's over to Lewis and another foul on the floor. It's our third foul on the floor here early on. Yeah, Robert game playing a little aggressive. Oh, and it's going the other way. Yeah, it's on Dunkirk, and that's Javi DeJesus' second one already here early in the first quarter. Yeah, you don't like to see these players get into too much foul trouble. You want to maybe even want to let these guys play a little bit, being a rivalry game. Yeah. Then again, in the rival game, you let it go, it gets out of control too. Yeah, so yeah we, I've uh, been in a few of those. Oh, absolutely. Schrader has the ball in the corner, picked up his dribble, not a good spot to do it. And Kowser comes up with the steal. That really is the Achilles heel of Fredonia's turnovers. He hit Dunkirk too by the looks of it. Uh-oh, Whitfield. Schrader's going to get out. Here goes Whitfield for the slide slam a jamma. That'll get the crowd going. Great pass by Schrader to Absolutely. give it up to the <laughs> to the big man. Schrader knew what he was doing there. He could have <laughs> had an easy layup himself. Carter with oh, a nice, nice take. drive to the hole. And one That'll, opportunity there. That's the way you answer right there for Dunkirk. Go right to the 10. We'll see if he can uh, hit the old fashioned three point play. Yeah, Marcel Carter. Putting up some big numbers this year. Yep, absolutely. Anytime you see that number uh, above 20 in high school basketball, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's not one bad game can drop that average real quick. And he misses the free throw, and Hawk comes up with the rebound and gets it to Whitfield. I see uh, Whitfield uh, brings the ball up. And it tells us a little bit about the guard play inconsistency. Yep, there. yeah, well, they, they do play pressure, a nice little pressure defense as well. Ball goes through Hawks' hands, but he gets it back. Trader has it in the corner. Over to Fry. Ten on the shot clock now. Carter all over Fry. Oh, Good nice. D. Five seconds on the shot clock. Fry has to force it up, and it's mm. going to be a shot clock violation. Great D by the Marauders, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. They buckled down, got the stop. Shot clock turnover is huge for the momentum. Absolutely. Two. Nice defensive See, plays the the Hillbillies are playing a real high 3-2 trap, trying to get him at half court. Uh, hands out wide, really making it tough for Dunker to pass the ball. Yeah, I mean, you got Whitfield and Fry's long arms up there. Lewis 4-3, Schrader with the rebound. Yeah, it's a quick shot, quick shot for Dunker. Yeah, essentially down 14-5, getting a defensive stand. You really want to come away with a good scoring chance. Freely has it in the corner. Mm -hmm. Woodfield trying to post up, can't get it to him. Now he does Kowser on him. And he's nice not giving step. up any ground, but Woodfield spins. And I didn't even hear the whistle, right. it was so loud in here. That was a nice fundamental big man drop step right there. You'll yes, love to see it. You'll love to see it. You know, initially it looked like Kowser was doing a great job holding this ground, and all of a sudden, quick spin by the athletic Whitfield. Yeah, and I mean, that's the first move you learned back in the day. Davi White checking in for Fredonia. Davi was a former Marauder, moved out of the area. Now he moved, just moved back in at the beginning of the basketball season to Fredonia. He's a sophomore, I believe. 
Yeah, nice big body. And Whitfield makes a three. Freely with the steal. Gets it to Whitfield. Look out, everyone. 19 to 5, Fredonia over. The that Marauders. is big. That's big for Whitfield right there. He's getting the momentum going. Lewis, oh, that's got to be a travel. No, yes, it is. Those are two huge plays by Whitfield. Very similar two handed dunks with authority. Absolutely. You don't see a lot of guys who just stand underneath the basket in high school and be able to dunk. No, no, he is a, he's a very good athlete. Nice big body. Nice take by Fry. No call there. It looked like the Jesus might have made a little bit of contact. It would have been his third foul, too, so big no call. He's got to be careful out there. Yeah. Ooh, that's a little shake and bake by Carter. Ooh. Crossover, pull up three. Yeah, off the dribble, nice shot. Freely has it in the corner. Gets it over to Fry, steps out of bounds. And the turnovers do haunt Fredonia, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, I'd like to see Creeley one. maybe cut, slash into the hoop, maybe posting up down at the block. Yeah, maybe yeah. a little big man game with him and Whitfield. And you don't just see that as much as you used to, or act when you played or a long time ago when I played, it was always inside out. Of course, Great of course. drive there by Carter. Man, everyone shoots the three these days, yeah. so. And a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball, you mm -hmm. know, it's not nearly as systematic as it used to be. Trader has it, gets it over to Davi White. Tries to get the screen from Whitfield, gives it up to Schrader. Carter goes for the steal, can't get it. Fry has it, kicks it out to Davi. And White misses with Whitfield Tower. Great cut. Great cut by White, could not finish. Nice pass by Whitfield. I like the left hand attempt. Yeah. Good look there by Kowser to get it to Lewis, and he can't get it. Nice rebound by Creeley. And here comes White the other way. And it's going to be a blocking foul. And that's, that's his third. Three, yo. Yeah. That's a tough one. That's a. It, wa it, it was a foul. Right call, it yeah. was a foul. It's just, uh, you know. Yeah. Half a step too late. You'd like to see him at the on the bench in that uh, particular moment. Yeah, and I think Lansky's at the score um, table. I'm assuming he's coming in for the Jesus. There's a call that. Yeah, how's that not a shooting foul? Uh, wow, that's, that's maybe on the stuff. jump stop um, is what he called it yeah, on. Yeah, I guess so. The Jesus does. Which go it out. was a nice jump stop. There he is. He's got to move around here. Oh, we'll just throw it deep to Woodfield. Just calmly goes back and gets it. Speaking of Woodfield, Woodfield did sign uh, his offer. He's going to St. Francis University on a full scholarship for quarterback. Oh, that's great. Great to hear that. You know? And now, and that is St. Francis PA? Yes. All right, wonderful. Another turnover here by Fredonia. So Duncan's chipping away here, 19-10. Should be a big bucket here if they could get it. 59 seconds left in the first period. Quarter. And uh, the first, the hockey last night, sorry. another substitution here for Fredonia. Uh, yeah, Keegan Whitfield checking in for the first time, giving Fry a rest for the end of the quarter. Kowser takes the three. Again, that's some of those quick shots. We, you talked about that earlier, Pat. You get a defensive stop. Discipline there a little bit. Don't force that shot. Get a better look. All right. Keegan gets it over to Schrader. To Whitfield. Ooh. Might have been a nice spin move there. Nice and spin. The touch. 21-10, yeah, 19 That's 10 tough to guard, ball. that's yeah. tough to guard right there. Oh, absolutely. Loose ball. Tell comes up with it. Ooh. It's not on Creel. It's gonna be, you know, it's it's gonna be on foul on Davi White, like good call. A clean block there by Creeley. You know, blocking Kyle on White, he's gonna be, Tell's gonna be shooting too. First shot is up and in and out, no good. Really hasn't been that many free throws this game either. And 
and misses both of them. Woodfield gets the rebound. Holding it for your coach. Train over there yelling one shot out. Shot clock is off. Just so 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Woodfields are down, it's down to almost 10 now. Gotta get going here. Woodfields okay. looking to take this himself, it looks. No, he's gonna kick it out to Davi White. It's good. Oh. oh. Both his shots have looked pretty good though, yeah. even though he's not connected. Uh, you got a sub in here, that is number zero. Mike Hahn coming yeah. in, sophomore. Oh, oh. oh, that was too easy for point eight. You can't let him catch that right there. And that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. Fredonia came out quick with four consecutive three-pointers by Ethan Fry, first 12 points of the game. Uh, giving Fredonia early lead and they kept it. You know, some things never some change. Yeah, some things never change. The cheers? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they go, that goes back to at least the 90s, because I remember those. <laughs> but yeah, that was an exciting first half, especially for uh, Fredonia. Uh, you know, they came out hot. Ethan Fry got him going. Yeah, he we'll had three pointers and two, four three pointers and two dunks in the yeah, first quarter. Dunks, dunks and three pointers. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't get much better than that. What else could the spectators <laughs> want, right? Just in a high school basketball Hell game. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we'll see if Duncan can come back. You know, you'd love to, you know, see the little close game. We had a couple good games last year between them. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, it. You brought it up first, and, and Dunker, if they had a little bit of better shot selection. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a couple defensive stops, and then they rush a forced three bad shot early in the shot clock following that. It's just that discipline. The athletic ability is there. A little bit more discipline. Hod for three right off the block. <laughs> Sophomore doesn't hesitate. You love the, the confidence. Three. You know, and, and Coach Petrando creates that too. He lets these kids come in and shoot. There's no hesitation there. Tell looks to answer with three of his own in and out. Lansky, nice rebound. Got to put a body on him. Got to put a body on him. Kowser gets it. He can't. Lansky up. Three offensive rebounds for Dunkirk. Can they catch in? No. Woodfield said enough of that. It gets it right out to Keegan. Keegan, oh, might have had a travel. Got away with it. And here's Hot again for three. This time a little long. He got comes excited. Down with he was it. excited. Look at this crazy, here's Kowser looking to push, forcing his shot, but draws mm. the foul. Yeah, get out of his way when he's going yeah, to the absolutely. hoop, that's for sure. Kowser goes to the line, uh, four, two, foul on number five. Looks like that was on Keegan. Yeah, yeah it's Keegan Whitfield gets his first. Kowser misses his first. You gotta connect when you uh, when you're at the foul line. Yeah, you know, that's absolutely. why they call it the charity stripe. They missed their last three, at least. Kowser again, line drive, but it goes in. 24-11, Fredonia over Dunkirk. Schrader bringing the ball up this time. On Keegan drives here, and Carter with the block. Stays for Donia Ball. Yeah, let's see, we got a sub, that's number three. Alex Field, come, no, sorry, that's for Donia number three. That's Gibson for Dunkirk. Coming in for the first time. Woodfield gets it out at the top. Oh. Nice spin move again, and one. That's, you can see the game plan here for Donia yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> give it to your, give it to your big guys. You know, and you, and that's tough to defend. You, no, you spread yeah, it out. Kowser was not in terrible position, but that's such a quick, powerful drop step spin move, and he's so tall and long. Yeah. Let's see, if we can convert the three-point play. 
And that free throw is long, and Tell gets the rebound. Carter, oh, loose a bad pass, throws it right at it's, Kowser's feet. That's the angle. You got to get yeah. it to the wing. They give it a little pump, give it a little bounce pass. Whitfield kicks it out to Schrader, over to Whitfield, to Hahn, and the other. Dunker elbow. playing man here, straight up man. Nice cut there by Whitfield, drawing the foul. Carter reaching in. And the Fredonia crowd wants some type of technical. And uh, Rosario's talking the fish. I think it's going to be a one on one here, aren't we, in the bonus? And yep, yeah, one on right. one. You're yeah, right, Shannon. Yeah. Nice call. Trando's setting up the press here. You got your two tallest guys are, well, one shooting, but the Freely and Keegan are back, not looking to get the offensive rebound, all about setting up the press. Well, this shows confidence in uh, Whitfield making uh, making these as well. Absolutely. That's always a big time to set up the press after a, after a make foul shot. getting there. I thought that pass might be dangerous. Lewis drives. No call. He went for a charge. It wasn't the, the yeah. exact right opportunity. I like to see oh, nice move again That's by Whitfield. Just taking this game over right absolutely. now. Absolutely. He knows he knows he's no, no, the matchup is tough and he's going at it. And he really needs to do that the rest of the season if Ferroni has any chance to come back in the league. Carter with a nice move. Can't finish. And off of Lewis, Fredonia ball. And that's a 30 points for the Hillbillies yeah, right now, so. And, and uh, no baskets so far in this quarter for Dunkirk at all. Keegan Woodfield bringing the ball up. Gets it to Hahn. Woodfield wants it. Oh, I thought he was going to spin it around. Nice move. Oh, Schrader. take that to the hole. And now it's going to be over and back. Uh, turnover for Fredoni. I thought Trader might have had a lane to I go. I thought up. he had the layup. I thought he had the layup. At least would have drawn a foul there, I think, if he took that up strong. Fredoni going man here out of the out of bounds play. Tell with up top. Midfield on him. Gets it over to Carter. Really on Carter, back to Tell, back to Carter. A little switch here, now Woodfield. Yep. And that's a, you know, that was Reaching a good, in, yep. yep. And that's a mismatch, Kowser on the I, sophomore. It, absolutely, on. I actually saw the the opposite matchup on defense as well. He was taking uh, taking the advantage of his size, as he should. Yeah, and Petrano saw that, saw that too, and Fry is back yep. in. Yep. <laughs> match up with Kowser now. Aaron pass, who loses long arm gets that. And Tell, who can't shoot. Good rebound by Lewis, he just can't. You know, yeah, that's a Whitfield effect there. Yep, 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 he's the, you know. How many you people do you get think that Lewis is afraid of with blocking him with those long well, arms? It, and even ability. if you don't get it, he's affecting the shot. Oh, yeah, absolutely, and there's Whitfield again. And that's too easy, that's yeah. too easy. And if you saw, he's letting everyone know, you can't stop me. <laughs> Carter forcing a three. Creeley with the rebound and right back to Whitfield. It's about halfway through the half here as well, so Fironi's just gonna keep trying to add to the lead. That, no, it's called that on the floor. The next level that's going to the line, but. Let's see if he can connect here. So that was, that'll be one on one then, because he was saying it was on the floor, yep, right? Yep, so it's one yep. on one. There is no continuation allowed, so the basket did not count. Spectators at home. And Whitfield missed the first down. Kowser gets a nice big rebound, gets the ball over to Tell. Tell. 
Lewis fakes a three, tries, but he turns that over. And Whitfield has it, can he dunk that? Oh my, one-handed slam! And look at Whitfield loving that. Wow, I don't that know was, if I've seen that. That was impressive, he almost hit his head on the rim. <laughs> and, and the defense was all over him yeah, too. He, he just hit that burst of speed at the end and just elevated and threw it down with authority. This is the Whitfield show so far after initial Is fry. he gonna play basketball at St. Francis <laughs> as well or what? No, <laughs> unfortunately no. Uh, <laughs> But uh, he's definitely, and this is by far the most aggressive I've seen him play yeah, all year. Well, those rivalry games yeah, tend absolutely. to bring out the best best of the players. You know, that's the one thing I remember is uh, I always wanted to come out and show show the crosstown rivals uh, that I was, you know, that you could play. And yeah. that's what he's doing right now. Absolutely. Three dunks in the first half, you love to see it. You know, not gonna lie, I think I remember his dad uh, one hand slamming once or twice as well. <laughs> that was a long <laughs> time ago. <laughs> 408 remaining in the quarter. It has been all hillbilly so far. And they're showing it as well. They're, uh, they're showing that this is their game, and uh, let's see if uh, Dunker can uh, just stop the bleeding a little bit. Dunkers, chip away, chip away, yeah, chip away. Gotta calm down. They're, they're playing into it, forcing things. Another quick shot. But Tell comes up with that rebound. Right back to Kowser. Kowser takes it strong, but Whitfield gets it, and you know Tell won't go, or excuse me, Lewis won't go back up with it because Whitfield's there. Gibson with the three. Ooh, I think I think Witt was right. He knocked that into Kowser. Kowser well, did get some nice position on yeah. that uh, on that shot, though. He was there for it, using his body. Oh, absolutely. I mean, big, strong, athletic kid, Kowser. And watch him play Sometimes sports. Sometimes I'm seeing Fredonia use trying to use their length a little bit when they need to put the body on him. Absolutely. Carter decides not to take that. Kicks it out to Tell with the runner. Nice touch there. The classic by floater. Tell. Very intelligent. Yeah, and Whitfield's just gonna dribble up slowly here. They're doing a little... Uh, oh, Carter going for the steal, Whitfield. They're getting some nice spacing on offense. This time Fry is taken to the hole. Kowser almost lost it, but he, he comes wanted, up with it. He wanted the foul, but it was a good no call. Yeah, absolutely. That was just good D. Gibson with the little pull up jump. Oh, the 15 footer, oh. And Schrader comes up with the loose ball, and Fredoni is coming right back the other way. That's a spot. Fry, four, three, his first point. Missed from there. Whitfield, oh. Keegan Whitfield with the offensive rebound. Nice rip Gets through. it out to Creeley. To Schrader. Ooh, out of control there by Schrader, and a wild shot rebound by Kowser. Uh, that Petrano did not like that. Quick shot by Carter. 4 3. All yeah. right. Back to back buckets here. Not back to back, but all of a sudden, five points after not scoring the first five minutes of the quarter. Good take here by Fry, drawing the foul by Lewis. And it's a good foul there by Lewis to not give up the easy layup on Fry and make him go earn it at the line. And if you're Dunkirk, I think that's gonna have to be something you look into, trying to protect the paint a little more, making it a lot tougher for Fironi to score. Playing a little more physical. You know, and you, well, they came out in zone, I believe, and they were leaving Fry open left and right in the corner, and then they went to man, and Whitfield is just taking <laughs> over. <laughs> hey, that's a beauty. That's and, a yeah. nice little, uh, nice little one-two combo yeah. there for the Hillbillies. Fry made his first. And they're gonna look to go into that, uh, that full court zone as well. And Fry hits the second. Yeah, it's like a, it's a one, two, two. 
Carter has it. Whitfield Fry looking to trap him. Nice little bounce pass. Two oh, travel. No, that was two good bounce pass, press breaking passes there. And then Kalzar unfortunately traveled uh, and turned it over. Two minutes remaining here in the first half. Fredonia up by 20 over the Marauders. Sal Tabon checking in the game for the first time as the ball. Tell on him. Gets it over Ooh. to Fry. Looking that for the That was a nice play, here. though. That was. It was. Good use of the backboard there. Just didn't quite fall for Fry. Carter oh. from way back and hits the three. That was deep. That was a deep one. You can tell Carter wants to talk smash so bad uh, right now. Yeah, they're chippy. He, they're getting a little mumble. Well, he sees, you know, yeah. Fredonia's talking a little bit. Oh, you yeah. Know. Oh, unforced there. there. Fredonia's uh, definitely tooting her horn a little bit. Probably oh, get, sure. It's probably getting under the Marauder skin a little bit. Davi White checking back in for Tabone. A big lineup here for Fredonia. Davi on Carter. Let's see. Car this oh, time yeah, a had him long. on a step back. Ooh. Keegan Woodfield takes the ball. I really the like, I really team. like what he did there. He slowed down, tried to draw the defender yeah. to get the in one. I thought there was a little contact, but he was able to finish. Yeah, not, yeah, he went up under control there too. Was not intimidated by a much bigger, thicker Kauser. Avi White, the tough match up here on the faster Carter. Pass underneath to Lewis. Oh, good give and go. Carter for three, way short. Oh. And Whitfield comes up with it. Oh, nice Whitfield pass. Whitfield to Whitfield, oh. a little late. Got it there, a little yeah. late. Oh, Trano's gonna call the 30. Set up a defense here. Yep, 21 seconds remaining in the first half. Man, that Carter, he's got the green light here for Dunkirk. He uh, is definitely their number one option on offense. Oh, and, without uh, a doubt. We'll see if he can uh, get Dunkirk back in this game by his three-point shooting. You know, we keep mentioning Carter a lot, but how about Lewis? I mean, 24 points a game, coming off a 34-point game. and I, You know, I haven't seen much of no. it. No, you know, and I, I'm guessing he takes it to the hole a lot. I have not seen him play this year. He was on JV last year, okay. too. So 24 points, he played a lot of JV last year. I like to. But uh, he's definitely the Whitfield factor there. We saw uh -huh, him a couple uh -huh. times give up and choose not to shoot a bucket or not take it up strong because well, of the presence of Whitfield underneath. A player like that just needs to see one fall too, and then yeah, oh sure. You know, you see that you see that ball go th through the net, and it it, it get, helps you out a little bit. Gets you going, gets you going. A press here. Looks that like a travel. Travel there too. Tries tell gave that up there. Looking at Carter, a little clear out. Three seconds Don't left. Reach. Good defense by oh, big kick by. Lewis on Fry. All right. And that'll right? is halftime with the <laughs> score 38 to 19. Yeah. Uh, any quick thoughts where we'll take a little break here? Yeah, and come you know, back yeah. The halftime you know, show. Pretty exciting here for the Hillbillies. Uh, Dunkirk just needs to go into halftime regroup. You know, they need to come out playing really tough defense and see if they can chip away at this lead. But exciting, exciting yeah, basketball for the that, Hillbillies. Absolutely. Okay, with that, we will take a break. We'll come back. We'll get some statistics for you. Um, we'll come back. A little halftime show. <laughs>
Okay, we are back here for the halftime show. Uh, Pat, were you able to get some scoring statistics if you want to go ahead and share? All right, yeah. Uh, we have Whitfield leading the way. Uh, Nick, Nick Whitfield leading the way here with 19 points for Fredonia, a couple dunks, a couple of nice spin moves. We got Ethan Fry, uh, 14 points for the Hillbillies. Had a night, got the, got him going early on and the crowd going with a couple big three-pointers. We got Han with three. And uh, the other Whitfield brother, Keegan Whitfield, with two. For Dunkirk, the leading scorer is Marcel Carter with 13. You got Lewis with three, Tell with two, and Kaiser with two. If uh, Dunkirk's going to come back in this game, they're going to need some more production. Out of Mr. Lewis, really, their from, leading yep, scorer. From Lorenzo Lewis. Whoop. And I'd also like to see maybe uh, Kaiser maybe getting some points or... You know, we'll, we'll see. And maybe Amari Tell. Yeah, Tell, Tell's a big one. Tell was one of their leading scorers last year. Um, and I've seen Tell rattle off three, four, five, six free, uh, three pointers in a row himself. Mm -hmm, He's mm -hmm. a streaky, streaky shooter. When he gets hot, he can make it rain from the outside. I mean, he's averaging seven points a game this year, uh, but his strength is definitely the long range shot. He's got a smooth shot. And again, when he gets going, uh, he make a quick difference. But, I mean, for Dunkirk, Pat, we talked about in the first half, for them to get back in this game, I mean, they got to be a little smarter offensively, mm -hmm. a little Absolutely. bit better shot Absolutely. selection, patience, control their emotions. Yeah, you know, get it. Get it, pump fake. Get a one, one a dribble into the lane, look for your shot, you know? Fake a pass to make a pass. You know? Absolutely. Th things that are, you know, cut to the hoop. It looks like it's a lot on one-on-one -on -one play. And uh, we'll see what they do here. It looks like they're going to get the ball to start the half here. But uh, from the Fredonia, I'm doing what they did in the first half. Uh, I'm attacking with Whitfield and Fry to the hoop. And we'll see what happens here. Yeah, they, they, you know, they got to somehow control Whitfield in the paint. I mean, he he was a man amongst boys in that Absolutely. first half. And uh, uh, the spin moves and so and on. It and it, it's, right now, it looks like that's not going to stop. They're going to start him at the top again with the high three. High one, one. It's a high three, two. Oh, it's Tell gives three, up two. the three. Gets it out to Carter. Carter, tough pass. Oh, nice look there by the Jesus. The yeah, Lansky. and he's back after sitting a long time in the first half, and he's yeah. back. And he starts the Marauders off with a nice pass. It was a nice pass and a nice cut by Lansky, and he was able to finish. We saw him a couple chances in the first half, couldn't finish. So good bucket to start for the Marauders. And they're going to start off in man. Fry here, hold on the ball, really nice looking move. for a shot. He gets a nice spin move. Nice move, yeah, gave him a pump. The old, yeah. the old Kevin McHale, the yeah. up and under. You know, and you could tell he was shooting that all the way. Of course, He, he of was course. backing that in, and here's a turnover forced by Creeley. And no. oh no, it's gonna be a foul on Hawk, maybe. Looks like he uh, got tied up. It might have hurt his hand. He's looking at his stall, and we got, oh no, it's a foul on DeJesus. That's his fourth there. He can't catch a break out no, there. No, so now, you know, you think Rosario here might be taking him out soon. It doesn't look like it. No, not yet. <laughs> Fry has it, top looking for the three, bounce pass and the knee to Hawk. Oh, nice. Nice pass to Fry, give and go. Nice give and go, yeah, absolutely. It looks like he is, uh, oh, he is bleeding. Oh, okay. But, which usually means a game stoppage. Oh, Fry coming up with the steal. Oh, oh, he was trying to give it to him off the boards. Whitfield wasn't quite ready for that. And I'll, skip, I'll still give him an assist on that Oh, one. Absolutely. absolutely. It was yeah. intentional. That absolutely. was intentional. Very unselfish, too, by Fry. You, you, you really do like to see that. Uh-oh, uh -oh, we're going to see one. one now. Oh, number four of the game. You know, this guy He's got to get back on defense, yeah. though. He's got to get back on D. Uh, they're going to call it early time. Rosario. Man, that is exciting to see. Just 
Just pure athleticism. Two hands. Just I, I almost thought he was going to spin or something. Yeah, yeah, he did. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> he had all the time in the world. Um, it's a little bit defeating here for the Marauders, though, to start that right away. Oh, absolutely. You know, and still my favorite, that's that one hand that he was driving and defended right in his mm -hmm. face. That's, that's up to four. That's we'll, uh, high school dunks. Well, I don't know if you remember this, but last year when he broke his wrist. I, I do. In that I, first game, he had seven dunks. Yep, and on the seventh one. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> he dunked a couple times after he oh. broke his wrist, <laughs> and then he went out. So he stayed in the game after he hit, you know, adrenaline was still going. Yeah, yeah. And he had a mul two dunks at, with a broken wrist in that mm -hmm. first yeah, game. Yeah, no one ever wants to get hurt, especially when yeah. you only have so many so many games on the high school level. Well, not to mention with COVID last year. Yeah, it was a they short was a shortened season. season. They didn't get to play football in the fall. I was, they finally get to play first game. And, and it, you know, he was mm -hmm, trying to mm -hmm. go to the rim, so he didn't get a technical foul. His feet weren't underneath him. And, uh, yeah, that was it. I think Fredoni had multi, over 10 dunks in that game between Putney and Woodfield. Another turnover here by the Marauders. Schrader is going to bring the ball up. Hawk has it in the corner. Gets it back out to Whitfield, driving up the middle. Ooh, missed by Whitfield, rebound by Carter. Rare miss tonight by Whitfield. Creeley with a nice steal, gets it ahead to Whitfield. Bounce pass to Fry. And he is Ooh, followed the hard line. by Carter, helps him up. Fry hits the first. And hits the second. 48-21. Carter bringing the ball up for Marauders. Over to Gibson who checked in the game. Across to Kauser. Kauser, hard drive, no call. And here comes Whitfield again. Oh, Lewis, good for him going up yeah, strong. It, and it's about time for Yeah, Denver. absolutely. Woodfield slowed down a little bit to set up he that walked, dunk. Yeah, yeah he, uh, he was going for it, that's for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And, you know, and we and that's saw, exciting stuff right Absolutely. Here. You know, and I, when I say good for Lewis, what I mean by that, we saw him not take some offensive shots, afraid to get blocked himself earlier. You know, if he would attack the rim offensively like that, he may draw a foul. He's going to get blocked once or twice too, but maybe get some fouls on Woodfield, get him out of the game. Woodfield hits the first. Checking in the game for the first time for Dunkirk. Let me get a name. That's number 20. Jo I can't believe, is that Jamari Terry? I don't think that's right in this round. Oh no, it's number 30, my bad. I was gonna say that is not Jamari. I'll have to get, look at a different roster here. Hang on. Louis Nunez checking oh. in for Dunkirk. Sorry. Oh. Nice take there by Kauser. Yeah. Oh, another oh, hand great one. left hand. Going to the and charity I, strike yeah. for the old three point. You know, and I did not see a lot of contact there on that one, especially that could have easily. I think it was a slap on the wrist. Did he get him? Mm -hmm. And uh, and it just keeps going here for Fredonia. They're going to keep pouring it on. It's oh yeah, they're not going to let up for a while. Thirty point lead now with that free throw. And Whitfield's got it. Nice start here in the second half. Yeah. He's already got Carter forces already got nine the points. three, but making it rain from way outside. His first bucket of the second half. 
Nice jab, oh, nice take. take. Oh, big block by Jack Lansky, saves it. Gets ahead to Couser. Dunkirk's got numbers. Oh, travel, the intimidation. Look, oh, look at Woodfield's letting him know he's in your head. Oh, boy. Three on one, yeah, and you yeah, don't get that's a shot uh, the off. old, uh, you know, even if he doesn't block it, he's they're yeah. in the back of the head, so absolutely. And uh, Brionia doing a little, little weave here, wide open. Fry kicks it out to Whitfield, it takes it in, he gets another easy two. Yeah, he's uh. He's going at it tonight, that's Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. And they're but still going to be playing this zone here for Duncan. Yeah. It's been working all game. Lewis doesn't. He gets it back that to Carter. Deep. Way out there over Woodfield. That almost Nunez hit something on the ceiling. With, it did. Lansky trying to go off the board. Can't get it. Hawk comes up with the rebound and gets it to Fry. I love that high lefty release, though. Yeah. Good pass. Good pass there by Schrader to Hawk for the layup. There we go. Nice to see him get on the get on nice the score. Nice touch there by Lansky, a little jumper from the top of the paint. He's had a couple of uh, buckets here in this third yeah. third quarter as well. Fry going baseline, picking up he his dribble, needs some help. Yeah, mm. Carter comes up with that. Ooh. Again, Whitfield might have, influence. Might have thought he uh, stumbled his feet again. Lansky for three, comes up short, and Lewis gets oh. a rebound. And nice shot there by Lewis, taking that up right away and drawing the foul. And he's gonna go to the line for two. Couple substitutions coming in for Fredonia. Looks like they're gonna try to get some of these bench players minutes, which is 100% the right move. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, White get some action again here too. I like this play in the first half. Yeah, he's going to be a key part of the Fredonia future the next couple of years. And Sal Tabone, too. So Davi White and Sal Tabone coming in for the game for Fredonia. Hawk and Fry heading out. I don't know about these show shoes, though, Pat. I can't get over them. Yeah, the, the yes. highlighter shoes, uh, huh? Yeah, yeah uh, you, I, you know, if you're... <laughs> it's the old man in me, I guess. I, that, I, I, well, back... When I played up, we were only allowed to have black shoes. Yeah, so I mean, times have changed. Yeah. Tabone has it. Picked up his dribble early. Don't like to see that as a guard play there. Schrader has it now. Nunez on him. And oh, Schrader yeah, turns for, it over. Yeah, yeah forcing it to... Whitfield did have position there as well. Yeah. You know, he had that nice inlet pass to Hawk last time, and this time he forces it to Whitfield and turns it over. And gets the foul, Freighter's first foul of the game. Tell for three, and that's off. Nice rebound by Lansky, putting that in. And you know, you talked about early, they depend on their height a little bit. No box out there at yeah, all. Yeah, they, they like Fredonia. to use their athleticism and jump over, but in some cases, they got to get that body, push him back. Another spin in the lane, gets his own rebound. Uh, I was about to say, rare miss by Woodfield. He's dominating. He is absolutely dominating right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's got... He's got 13 in the, in the second half yeah, alone yeah. here in this, in this quarter. That, what, that, he had 19 in the... <laughs> yeah, so, so he's got a quick... Over, what, 32? Yeah, he's got a nice game he's having here. Yeah. Well, if you look at it, Kowser has the size, maybe, not necessarily the height, but, but maybe not the quickness. Mm -hmm, Carter mm -hmm. is pretty long, and he definitely has the quickness, but Whitfield 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6, you know, long and athletic and quick, so... It's a tough, tough matchup here for the Dunker players right now. And I love the leadership by Whitfield right now as well. He's telling his teammates that the game's not over and that they have to keep the intensity up. Yeah, you just saw him there talking to Sal Tabone, who just came off the bench, first year varsity player. And Whitfield's been playing varsity since freshman year, so.
Carter looking to try. Oh, nice little pass to Lansky. Nice touch there. He's having himself a nice little uh, second, yeah, he's second half here. Yeah, here much better. He's got a nice touch on the shot. Yeah, of course, big yeah. man. Pass and cut, pass and cut. Pick and roll with the, oh. Dunk has kept the intensity up, but it's, but like we've said before, it's not easy guarding Whitfield. No, no especially the way he's playing with such confidence. Oh yeah, he knows he tonight. can score. He knows he can score every time. And Absolutely. He, and he is. Uh, and he wants to. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and he wants to tonight. Again, I, it's the first league game I've seen, but when you're watching some non-league games early on, he did not play like he was letting other guys take shots. He had, he's just kind of going flow, getting his points, but. Nothing like this. He is taking this game over and not looking back. Woodfield in line for number two. I mean, they're yes. they're closing in on a 30-point lead here. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Coach Petrando, who's been doing a great job all game. Woodfield coming out. I think uh, it's first unloads. time he's coming out for the game. And, uh, and he gets the much due respect from the crowd. Absolutely. Let's see how these Dunkirk players go differently. Take it right to the hole there. You know, I mean, we haven't seen a strong, too many people mm -hmm, going mm -hmm. strong to the basket with Whitfield in the middle defensively. Yeah. Kowser line 4-2, misses the first. Yeah, with the game a little bit lopsided, it's tough for uh, each crowd to be really into this game. Big <laughs> rebound there for Hawk. 0-2 oh from the line there again. You know, little things that really hurt Dunker. To Bone from the corner for three. And that is no good. Oh, White, White with the rebound. Yeah, White comes up with the offensive rebound. Kicks it out to To Bone. Reset the offense up. Good choice here. New shot clock. Oh. Carter still playing hard there in a loose ball, even though a lopsided game, trying to save it. And I think Fry even thinks that it went off on him as well, but he's going to take the ball. <laughs> Keegan Woodfield checking in the game. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Fry. Nice catch and shoot. Ooh. Tell with the defensive rebound. Yeah. Nice take there. Yeah. Nice touch. But again, we haven't seen that kind of yeah, confidence he, go into the hole when, you, when Whitfield's in the game. There he is. Ooh. And Fredonia is going to play it play a little slowly here on offense. Yeah, the shot clock is on. There's like a half a second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Nice spin. Oh, a little hard off the board. Rebound by Hawk. Can't get it. Lucky he didn't get a foul there. And that shot is no chance of and going the dominance in. continues here for the Hillbillies to, to end the third quarter. Yeah, 61 to 35. And if I look back at my scorecard here, Fredonia had 21 and 17. So they had 38 at halftime. So it's another. 23 points, the highest scoring quarter of the night so far. In the yeah, third well, quarter. Whitfield just dominated. Yeah. He took he took it to the took it to the Tim Absolutely. every play. He has over half their Fredonia's points. Yeah, so he's uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't play too much in the yeah, <laughs> in the fourth yeah. quarter. I'd like to see some of these younger guys get out there. Absolutely. Uh, I want I wanted to see uh, a couple of the guards. Uh, my sophomore Jameson Quinn get some minutes. Maybe uh, and uh, Davion White get some more time down low, and uh, Sal to Bone. Maybe he can keep it. Oh, oh, also Mike Hahn, who we saw a little bit yeah, in, right in the in. first half. Yeah, and, and you're right. In, in the last couple of years, Fredonia's probably struggled at the guard position a little bit. So it's 
valuable minutes yeah, for these younger yeah. guards mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. future for Fredonia. So I really agree with you there, Pat. Yeah, get those guys going and get them more game experience. And by the way, Whitfield's back in the game. Yeah, yep. Oh, well, you so know, we that's were wrong. On well, that one. well, you know, Coach Petrando, he's. Yeah. Uh, no he's mercy. Never, yeah, he's a little, a little, a little, no, a little no mercy. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Fry with the crossover, take oh. low, just can't I love it. the left hand, though. I love the attempt with it. Gibson in for. There he goes again. Fry comes up with it. Ooh, good D good by D. Tell. Good D. Fry is not happy. He got blocked there and going out of the game. Davi White back in it. Oh, good D by Carter there, knocking that away. Now, if that's a bounce pass, that's... That's uh, right. Very true. That's a drop step and dunk. Yes. <laughs> At least a late, easy layup for sure. Creeley has it in the corner. Freely. Tries to get it down to White, but Carter comes up with that steal. Gibson for three, just off. Big rebound by Lewis, up, draws the foul. Good for him. What were you going to say about Creeley? Down I was here? just going to say that, you know, he. Uh, He's real good at rebounding, you know, he's there on defense. He's, you know, he's not a big scorer, but he does a lot of the little things here for Fredonia that's, um, that's helped help build this huge lead for him. Oh, absolutely, he's you know two year starter now. He played yeah. varsity sophomore year, didn't get a lot of minutes. Mm -hmm, Very mm -hmm. unselfish player. You almost yeah. at times like him be a little bit more selfish. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know he's, absolutely. He's got the smarts, he's got the build and the athletic ability. You know, he could contribute a little bit more offensively if he just had a hair more selfishness. Yeah, yeah, well, you got two big scores. You yeah. Know, and sometimes he doesn't need to be. Right, you know. Woodfield bringing the ball up once again, setting up, parking out some orders for Fredonia. Schrader for three. And his shot is just oh. off. Couldn't get the roll, and Carter. I wanted the senior. I wanted the, the senior with a three there. Carter taking a strong to the hole on Woodfield. And good, that's what they didn't do early on. That's a real nice take and finish by Carter going for this, what you put it, the old fashioned three? The old fashioned three point play. And Carter in and out can't convert and finish the three point play off. It was too quiet in here yeah, for Yeah, it was. The foul was actually called on number two. It looks they, like, no, they, it looks like they it was on Whitfield. Yeah, yeah, which is, yeah. which is surprisingly, it's That's only right. his first foul. Oh, nice spin move. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was going down. Nice little backdoor cut there by Whitfield. Good pass by White. A lot of standing around by his Dunkirk offense. Oof. A little out of control there. There it goes. Freely gets it, comes up with it. Give it to the sophomore. And it looks like that's gonna be an intentional foul. Yeah. So he will go to the line for two and the Fredoni Hillbillies will be getting the ball back. I, yes, and I, I would and like Whitfield, to see Whitfield let, <laughs> give that up to, to Davi White there I, I, for the layup. I, I would have liked to see that as well, but this is gonna and Whitfield let the crowd know. Absolutely, but as you brought up earlier, maybe this might be a good time at least free throws. You know, five fifty-five left get in the game. Get him out! Get him out! And Whitfield hits it first. He's pretty charismatic with the crowd. He is. He's <laughs> feeling it tonight, yeah, without yeah. a doubt. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Another two buckets. That's going to give him 18 in the second half now as well. He's going for... 
maybe a Fredoni record. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what his career high in scoring it's is. Gotta it's gotta be getting gotta close. Be close if it's not there. Oh, we could have hit him there for a little. Jayhawk wide open for three. Great Look, rebound. Nice rebound by White, blocked by Lewis. Good hustle there by Hawk to keep that alive. A lot of contact underneath. Emotions are getting a little high here. Yeah, Pat. that's uh, what I'm seeing out there as well. With the players is, and the crowd. Yeah. So there's a foul on, is that Lewis's third then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see if White can get on the board here. And he hits the first. And he hits the second. Good putt there by Lewis. He's got to take that He's up got stronger. Fading though. away. Yeah. Good take. Big body going for it. Ooh. Carter went up strong for the rebound. Keegan Woodfield back into the game. You know, Hawk going out. Whitfield still It looks in like, here. I'm guessing Fry might be done for the game, but they, uh, a little, a little. 30 point lead, five minutes left. Gibson for three, he's not afraid to take it, and he hits. Nice little stroke. Going to the hole, cut off by Kauser, off Kauser's leg. It'll be Fredonia's ball. Woodfield has it, top uh -huh. of the key, looking to drive. And that, yeah, yeah. And that should and get him over easy. 40 points on the ball game tonight. Oh, and, and he gets the block. Oh, they can't get it up ahead. He's looking. He's looking for one more yeah, dunk. Yeah, he was. He's strutting the stuff. I would me. like to see a couple more. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he gets up there, that's for sure. <sighs> Paying attention to... The benches for both teams. I wouldn't be surprised if Dunkirk unloads as well. Yeah, you know, you would like, to, you know, these guys all on the team. You got a number of players that Dunkirk hasn't been in yet. It, oh, Carter, good Gets his own there. rebound. Yeah. Gets it to Gibson. Bat Whitfield with the steal. And there's one more for you, Pat. Wow. It, and, uh, yeah. Marcel Carter backed away. Yeah, he he didn't want none. Of, he didn't want any of that. He didn't want a facial. That's for sure. I'm running out of room here. I'm a, Gibson I'm a note. for another three. <laughs> In and out. I did not see who got that rebound. The official is in my way. Did you catch that, Pat? It looks like. Uh, yep. Oh, Kauser. Kauser. He's. Uh, okay. He's been doing pretty good down low. It hasn't resulted in many points. Kauser hits his first. Keegan with the ball. <laughs> he's off. telling his younger brother to go to the hoop. And he's not able to get the shot off. Kauser comes off with it. A little floater in the lane. 
Hauser or Lewis working hard oh, underneath. Some. Yeah, I guess that Whitfield defense. Yeah, it's really made a difference. Another nice. floater. Oh, that would have been pretty finished there. White with the rebound. Uh oh, here we go. The rim is still safe. Oh, shaking. man. That's, uh, with authority. With authority. Did you hear him call for that ball, too? Oh, yeah. And it, Dunkirk just doesn't even want to get in the way. They don't want to get dunked on. No. Getting a little restless out here. <laughs> They're going at him again. Oh, my God. And Chris it, is like, what do I do? Yeah, what do I do? <laughs> he, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. No one knows what to do. <laughs> he was shaking oh his head my still. gosh. I want nothing to do with And that. now the crowd's really I starting to go for Fredonia. Like it is. I think he's closing in on 50 points here. Fredonia is going to unload, is going to unload yeah. their bench. Yeah, you think they might. But I'm only counting four. I'm only counting yeah. four over here. Oh, steal there looking for Whitfield underneath. Here comes Carter on White. That's, That's an gonna and be one. one. Not sure what that defensive. Are they calling? Oh, Carter is in White's face. Oh. And a technical. Yeah. It's getting a little restless. The score is out of hand. Uh, Carter is is uh, is a little frustrated, which is understandable. But you gotta you gotta keep your you gotta stay level yeah. in these situations, you know. Yeah. No, uh oh. And the the Fredonia. The Fredonia crowd is uh, yeah. starting to get on the players a little bit. But so that was... Uh, Carter will still get his free throws, right? For the... He will, yeah, there. yep. So Fredonia will get free throws correct. on the And then it'll, it'll be, be Fredonia ball. ball. Yep, okay. exactly, exactly. You don't see that a lot. The same guy that... Well, he was... Shooting the two offensive free throws also gets a technical Yeah, ball. well, he followed him down the... Oh, he, yeah, he followed him down the yeah. court with his finger in his face, which is totally uncalled for. But well, uh, Davi White, I think, thought it was an offensive foul, so he started it with Carter. I will say that. And Carter was going, and then when it, yeah. it was said it was on Carter at all, he's. he's if I was Dunker, I'd probably yeah, get. If I was Dunker, I'd get the bench in. Oh, and they're going to let Whitfield shoot these free throws. I think he's got. Can he dunk it from the free throw line? Pat? <laughs> I'm sure he can. <laughs> <laughs> I would really like to see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, and uh, we are gonna get some guys in here for Dunkirk after these. I mean, for Fredonia after these two throws. <laughs> and if my calculations are correct, that he did go skull for 50 points. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and they do get him out of the game. We got some uh, some right young move. guys. Yeah. We got some of the younger guys in now. So uh, they'll get a chance to play the last two minutes against their rivals. Field coming off the bench. Ooh. Oh. Good rebound by Keegan Woodfield. So I think that brings the Woodfield family up to 54 <laughs> points on the night. Oh. More taunting there yeah, by Carter. Yeah, Carter's taunting big time out there, which I don't really understand. No. It's got to be tough for some of these players to just be down by so much. There's Quinn. Davis and Quinn for three. Yep, that's, I told you I wanted to see him in the game. <laughs> Lewis going strong to the hole now and drawing the foul. A little late, but... You like to see the aggressiveness, you know. Oh, 
And I think that taunting play actually got for Donia. It's crowd into oh, the game absolutely. a little too late. But now uh, there's still some taunting going on. I just, it's uh, well, we it's a little weird, with, but yeah. you know, you live and you learn. Lewis misses his second. Davis to Quinn takes another three and hits it again. He came off the bench hot. Yeah, he did. Carter takes it to the hole for two. Field shot is blocked by Lewis. You like to see them still working, still running yeah. their offense. It was a nice. Uh, well, you know, these guys come off the bench. They want to score. Yeah, they absolutely. Their name in the paper. Who doesn't? Uh, absolutely. That's what they live for. Davis He's got a Quinn with a quick, quick eight. Yeah. Give him the ball again. And then Ferdoni's closing in on 90 points as well. Kick out to Gibson. 4-3. The crowds like, are still going crazy like a yeah, tight game. I think Gibson should have maybe got some more minutes here in the first half. Yeah. So he's I got a nice little throw. It's, yeah, tough for him to uh, match up maybe defensively. But he's not afraid to shoot it. And that looks like it's going to do it here. Uh, Keegan Whitfield's going to dribble the ball out. And, oh, hey. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to see that. I don't think. He had a, someone throw a water bottle out on the court at an official. And, and it came from the middle, so I couldn't tell you what side it came on for sure. But that's the last thing you want to see. So that was a, definitely not a good basketball game in the sense of being yeah, close, Pat. I, but that was a very were, exciting basketball yeah, well, game. When the top player has close to 10 dunks, when the top player has close to 10 dunks, um, it's uh, it's definitely going to be exciting. Yeah, well, absolutely. And, uh, and obviously, it's a no-brainer. I don't know who gives out the game, yeah. the player of the game, but it's a no-brainer. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to go to senior Nick Whitfield. Who? Do, who's that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm not exactly. A, sponsored by Cross Training Athletics in Section Six. Malia. Will be presented to the athletes Malia. who have set the example in speech, conduct, love, faith, and integrity. Today's winners. And they're are giving out a game of the game, player of the game. Number 33, Marion Tao. And it goes to Marion Tao for the player of the game for Dunkirk. And I, and I can. Uh, I kind of get the reasoning behind that as well. A shot. number 20, Nick Cleary. Sportsmanship awards. Oh, the sportsmanship goes yeah. to Creeley. You love to see that. Absolutely. You love to see that. Goes to the senior. The Gattel was already changed. He's got to come back out <laughs> to receive the award. How's he have jeans on already? <laughs> <laughs> This is the quickest change <laughs> of all time. Yeah, they're trying to get out of here as soon as possible. That's. Yeah. Uh, while we're waiting here, a quick shout out to our crew tonight, Pat. Oh, yeah, they do a great job. Yep, Dylan Murphy, Jackson Hickey, uh, Chip Rewald, and Andrew all working tonight, doing a great job behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, we should have mentioned that earlier. I apologize, but they always do a great job. Yeah, it's really uh, appreciate all. It's their really efforts. night and day from what they're to what they what they've done over the years for these productions. Oh, production, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's great job. Produced absolutely. produced wonderfully as well. Yeah, Jackson Hickey does a great job. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I don't know exactly the total, but I am positive that Whitfield did go for over 50 tonight. Yeah, I think so too. Tell did get the Sportsmanship Award for Dunkirk, also great choice. Uh, really nice young man there. Uh, great game for Fredonia tonight. I mean, 
You know, you still see some of the weakness of the guard play, but Nick Whitfield came out. Well, Ethan Fry really got it going. Yeah. Four three-pointers in a row. They got a nice little one-two combo yeah, rowing here. Absolutely. If they can, if they can, if they can get a couple uh, league games in a row, get that record back to 500, maybe get a couple, you know, get a couple yeah. games above and uh, maybe make a move in the playoffs. A absolutely. You got a couple, you know, that season's got a. You never know. So. Look at last year, ended up winning the winning the playoffs, mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. without Whitfield. You know, mm -hmm. and they came on late, got a little break with some COVID mm -hmm. outbreaks, other teams, and took advantage of it. Got yeah. a division championship, yeah, or a, yeah, or a B two championship, excuse mm -hmm. me, in sectionals last year. So you never know. There's definitely the some talent on that team yeah. that could could beat anyone on the right night if they could control the turnovers. Absolutely. Uh, that's the, their big thing. There is controlling those turnovers. Well, with that, uh, any closing thoughts where we go, Pat? Uh, yeah, everyone just have a great night. and uh, Really happy to be here for this rivalry game, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully head to a couple more games this year. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Davis alongside Pat Mahaney, with Chip Rewell, Jackson Hickey, Andrew, and Dylan Murphy. Thanks for joining in, and good night, everyone.